So I wanted to get back to the uh, horological trigon and try putting in the uh, dial wax that I finally received. Um, this is a form of shellac. It's not actually wax, but that's the term. Um, you heat up the part and this will flow down into all the cracks and then you can uh, clean up the surface and get a nice high contrast. And if that works well, I also got some, uh, some silvering powder. So hopefully that all work well. Let's see. Okay, so it can be too hot, it looks like. Kind of smells nice, actually. Not sure how to describe it. Oops, <laughs> that's kind of messy. Wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> I don't know if this scraping is worthwhile or not, but I saw a couple people doing your videos and it makes sense. Kind of squeegeed across there. Looks better than it was anyway. So that's promising. <sighs> ah, it's funny about it. Time I was wiping off the blade, it already hardened enough and just sort of peeled off in a long strip. Interesting stuff. Okay, so that's definitely promising. Looking better than the paint did. So I've been starting to, when I'm heating it more from about this distance, just kind of tickling it with the very feathered end of the propane flame. A lot slower, a lot more controlled that way. Yeah, that's starting to feel a lot more controlled doing that way. I like it. Ah, uh, that looks so much better already. Okay, I'm gonna let this cool down. It's still tacky. It's not that warm, but let this solidify more. Okay, I'm gonna start sanding it down. It's my understanding that's a perfectly good way to, to clean off the top surface. Um, I'm gonna start at 800, I think. And that might be a bit too high. I might have to drop down to 300, but we'll see how it's looking.
to some water. Might have been a bit optimistic. I'm going to try loading up a sanding block with this stuff. Okay, this is working much better. I should use my sanding block more often, really. Oh, plenty still left to be done on the sides, but that's looking really good. Yeah. Definitely still some uh, blemishes, some surface defects, um, mostly dents when I was, again, when, when I was clamping it in the mill and I wasn't thinking it through as carefully as I could have. Um, so I don't want to sand it much more than this because the etching isn't that deep and I'm definitely starting to wear away in places. So I'm going to accept this as it is. Um, I'm going to go clean it up really carefully in the sink and then I'll look into silvering it. Citrusy. Or fruity, anyway. Note, I'm not suggesting you taste it. Unless you really want Argeria. And there are plenty of right-wing con men who will sell you that if you want it. Call that good enough. Go rinse this off and we'll do the second layer. Here it is after the first coat, powder one. The uh, top left corner here, not quite silvered out of the way. I think I'm just going to accept that because uh, that powder is really expensive. Okay, so I redid the corner and now this is all messed up. So I'm going to give that one more try, but this is quickly hitting diminishing returns here. Okay, it's looking better. There's some weirdness going on down here now, but I've definitely hit diminishing returns. So I'm going to move on to powder two um, and see how it turns out.
After powder two's been added and it's all silvery white like it should be, I'm going to go rinse this off now. I'm thinking this is going to turn out okay. So here it is. Little bit inconsistent. I wouldn't quite call it splotchy, but there is some, some low frequency variation. How about we put it that way? The uh, markings aren't quite as shiny as I would like. I tried heating it up again to smooth out any anything after sanding, but I don't know, maybe I, I need to read up on that technique a little bit more. Um, and the lacquer coating, eh, not my best job. But uh, yeah, that's a cool technique. I'll definitely be doing this again. Either with the vinyl mask cutter, like with this one, or I should really investigate that uh, the light sensitive stuff. Because uh, a laser printer has much finer pitch than the uh, vinyl cutter does, so I could get much finer lines. And I wouldn't have to spend two hours cut picking them all out. So there you go. Um, I think the Horological Trigon is done. I'm pretty happy with the result.